So with the ever uh, changing and evolving crystal industry, I think it's important that we start off 2023 with what I think is going to be the more popular items that are going to be selling this year and the things that I think you should be stocking up on and uh, investing in for this year. The market is constantly shifting and changing, but there's going to be some things that always remain the same, but then there's also going to be trends that I think are coming and I'll talk about the trends that I think are coming and let's, uh, let's take a walk and do some shopping. So I do believe we've reached a pinnacle in the industry where most collectors already have the basics, the fundamental stuff. But what everybody is going to be looking for is specialty items, high grade material, low grade material is really not working anymore for anybody. That buy cheap, sell cheap stuff is way behind us. Uh, also, uh, going ethical and fair trade is so important. Uh, making sure the material you have is clean energy, uh, that there's not negative vibes around your stuff is just so important more than ever. Uh, and thank God, as we are going deeper into the industry, the more people are becoming aware of some of the not so great practices and are desiring clean material. And I think that what I'm seeing already is people are going in the direction of making their own bracelets. We sell tons of strands of beads, so people are buying a lot of beads uh, as of late to make their own bracelets and get creative and create a unique product that nobody else has, which I think is really important. So people might want to, of course, continue getting beaded bracelets. Our beaded bracelets are the best selling item that we have, but we manufacture our own bracelets and we make sure that the quality and integrity is second to none. But I think that it might not be the worst idea for you to start creating your own bracelets, maybe mixing and matching different stones together. Uh, and we are selling a lot of beads right now. In hydros, which are basically agates with water inside of them. I mean, you can find in hydros in many different stones, but um, agate and hydros are becoming very, very popular. Again, they were extremely popular in like 2015, 16, but now we're seeing them come back around. Uh, you just gotta make sure that whoever you're sourcing from is mining them ethically. Also something to speak about in hydros, one of the practices that I'm seeing on the market is that people take a very, very small drill, drill into the agate and then inject water into the agate. So if there's a, a, a pocket in the agate, like a, a gas bubble in the agate, people can inject water into them and then sell them for much higher prices. So be aware of that too. Also something that I think is going in a much more trendy direction is getting your hands on the rough stone. So always it's been tumbled stone or polished stone, but I'm starting to see a, a, a greater uptick in people's desire for rough stone. So like for example, we sell you know, the two to four centimeter rough stone in the pre bags like this. And I think that a lot more crystal shops especially are gonna start carrying more of that rough stone because it seems like that's going to be the trend of this year. I think that aura stuff is dead in the water. Unfortunately, I have a lot of aura stuff still, but it's very slow now. Though the trend of aura was probably like around 2020. So I would say, you know, don't not have it, but I wouldn't invest too much into Aura stuff. Something that I'm seeing a lot, and it seems like there's some uh, misinformation around or disinformation, depends on who it is, is I'm seeing a lot of people now selling uh, Samadhi Quartz, which is pink Tibet Quartz, as this Colombian Lemurian Quartz. And I'm seeing that narrative happening quite a bit on social media. So be careful of that. Make sure that when you're, you know, people are selling you this Colombian Lemurian, pink Colombian Lemurian, that it's not actually Samadhi Quartz or Tibetan pink Quartz. That that just means that the person who was selling it, like the, the retailer, might not just have the right information that somebody else sold it to them as that and now they're passing it off. I think Samadhi Quartz and Pink Tibet Quartz is going to be big. Just make sure that if you're getting it, you're getting it from a reliable source who actually knows the material that they have. This is a decent example of a, of a pretty pink one. You know, as we get deeper and deeper into the business, as it grows, as, as it expands, there's gonna be a lot more disinformation or misinformation. Like for example, I even had uh, a mistake where I have a fluorescent sodalite that comes out of Indonesia and I was calling it Uperlite. It's listed as Uperlite everywhere and I just found out recently that that's a trade name that somebody has and owns and that if it's not from the Michigan, you can't call it Uperlite. So that's something that uh, is also possible as, as the business grows and evolves and be a lot more trade names and things happening around stuff uh, and just you know making sure you really get in there and dig deep into the uh, the information because like I said even I am capable of making mistakes I've been doing this for 15 years so be aware of, of, of the information on the market 
Uh, also, if you can get your hands on Lemurian quartz, like real Lemurian. So again, there's so much Lemurian quartz on the market that is not Lemurian quartz. Uh, I've made several videos about Lemurian quartz. I'm not going to get into how to identify it and what it is. There's, you can backtrack and find that information in my other social media. But Lemurian quartz is something that if you can find and get your hands on, I would highly recommend doing that. Um, again, like I said, it's just about credibility. Make sure that your source is credible. I also understand that people's you know, initial drive forward is towards the safe side of things and uh, you know, not over investing in material. What I'm noticing is that the best selling material right now are your like mid size to larger size pieces because those are the collection pieces that people are looking for. Everybody already has the little, the little pieces of this and the little pieces of that. And what people are really looking for now is statement pieces. So I wouldn't be so afraid to invest myself into some statement pieces if I were you. Uh, and if you've been holding back on that and worried about spending a little bit extra money on larger pieces, uh, I might just give it a shot. You know, I'm not saying go out and spend you know, thousands of dollars on collection pieces, but buy yourself a couple. Go a little bit uh, above what you're used to. So if you're used to buying pieces this big, try pieces this big and just see if it works out for you. If it doesn't work, work out for you, the worst thing that happens is you have a couple collection pieces for your collection. Oddities and Rarities are going to be huge this year. So like, for example, I have cactus spirit quartz over here. I have stuff from Africa and I also have stuff from Tibet, you know, and this is the kind of stuff that is going to be really pushing itself out the door this year, in my opinion, because again, it's oddity stuff. People's idea of like classic citrine and stuff like that is, is moving down to a slower halt. But what I'm seeing is I'm selling a lot more of like the weirder citrines, like that have weirder formations, um, maybe have some calcites included in them. You know, fairy stone concretions, I'm selling a lot of these right now. <laughs> a, little, a little quail. I'm still doing very well with my carvings, my hearts, my moons, my stars, my lucky charms kind of stuff is doing very, very well. These are chromium quartz clusters. Uh, they are a very popular selling item for me. Uh, they are man-made clusters. Um, there's two types of clusters that are typically made. One is completely synthetic, meaning that even the crystal points that are on them are synthetic. And then you have uh, ones like I have, which is uh, where the crystal points are actually real crystal points, but water silica, which is all this fuzzy stuff you see around them. These are what you call water crystals. It's basically where you induce uh, silica into water and it grows these water crystals around and it's what holds the crystal together. So you could see on the bottom of them, they have all these small crystals and that's really what's holding the crystal together. Uh, but these are really, really popular. Uh, also, the idea behind this, behind this chromium quartz, is that every crystal point generates a percentage of energy. So when you have like tens of thousands of little crystals on the, the cluster, it's supposed to produce a much higher variation of energy. Uh, don't quote me on that. That's just the, uh, you know, the word going on around the street. That's kind of the idea behind this chromium quartz or this chloride quartz clusters, which are the green ones, is that, you know, by putting thousands of crystals on the thing, it makes the thing super juicy and powerful. You know, again, not my words. Getting our hands on like A-grade amethyst, grape quality amethyst is becoming virtually impossible to do. Uh, I'm very lucky. I have tons of it in back stock. I mean, I've been buying out mines for, you know, nine, 10 years. So I have back stock to last me for five, six years probably. Uh, and I still have very high quality grape amethyst, which I don't have to kill people on the price because I, you know, it's back stock that I've, you know, before the prices skyrocketed, which they are now, the miners are selling this material out of the mines for the same price that I sell this off my table right now. So that's something that I would invest in if I were uh, a person that had a crystal business is I'd wanna, I'd buy a box. As, I, as much of this material as you can get your hands on for a fair price, I would get as much grape colored amethyst, which is this A colored ameth A quality amethyst. I'd try to get my hands on as much of this as possible. Uh, like I said, I have a very large back stock of this material. So if you're interested in this material and wanna make sure you're getting it, the right way, feel free to contact us and reach out to us. I can get you this material. Rarities and oddities are going to be amazing. Like, so like amethyst flowers, like stuff like this is going to be really popular this year. Getting, getting your hands on rarities and oddities, like fluorescent minerals, I think are becoming much more popular. Um, unique fluorites and things like that. Malachite is like one of the most difficult things to source in the world right now. And that's why there's a tremendous amount of fake Malachite flooding the market. Uh, but you know, 
you got to really do your research and your diligence because malachite is very hard to get ethically sourced. If you're seeing malachite up on the market, uh, I'd ask a few questions around it. If you're interested in ethically sourcing it and, and, and making sure that it was done the right way, ask a lot of questions about it. What I'm seeing also a huge uptick in is novelty stuff. So like bonsai trees, coasters, uh, bookends, candle holders, because the industry is becoming way more universal now. So the average person who's not like a mineral collector is using the stones now for you know practical purposes like novelty stuff. So you're seeing a lot more of this novelty becoming uh, way more lucrative as opposed to the last three, four years. So getting your hands on candle holders, bookends, uh, coasters, you know, things that are practical that anybody can kind of use. Similar like to this is like the little dishes or the little bowls. Like I got these rose quartz and ocean jasper bowls here. These are flying out the door. So this is also something that I think might be really interesting uh, to get your hands on. And then last but not least is the bracelets. I mean, bracelets are the most consistent machine of material that I sell personally. I can't even keep up with the demand. Uh, and we're manufacturing around 10,000 bracelets every month, which is as much as we can possibly do. And I'm going through that material every month. So uh, I would say that getting your hands on the bracelets is really important, especially like, like again, beating a dead horse here, but the integrity of my bracelets is superior, the quality is superior. So uh, if you're interested in bracelets, I would, I would start looking into that. Uh, and like I said in the beginning, making your own bracelets is gonna be extremely lucrative. Oddities, rarities, things like that. So most of what I have in this cabinet is old stock, but I have Columbianite, I have Appetite Barrel, I have Kunzite, I have Hiddenite, I have Tourmalines, I have Tanzanite, I have uh, Opals and Fire Agates. Uh, this is all kinds of stuff that you want to get your hands on because this is what people are really buying right now. Even like aquamarine barrels, like really nice aquamarines. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I think is worth getting our hands on. Native turquoise, which is so tough to get. Um, be very careful buying turquoise. Uh, make sure that you trust the person you're buying your turquoise from. But all of this kind of specialty stuff, it's a little more pricey than your cheap stuff, but it, again, it's what's selling. So I think it's time for people to change their narrative a little bit and stop being so worried about the cost of their inventory. Because if you want to sustain yourself and actually succeed in this industry going forward, it's time to take a little bit more risk. That's just my two cents on it. Getting your hands on palm stones, investing in these kinds of palm stone shapes, I think is going to be something that's well worth investing in in 2023. Hearts are doing really well. Palm stones are doing really well. And I'm, I'm writing this off of uh, November, you know, so the, the trend is gonna come from November into December into January, February, March, and it's just gonna roll its way down. So what this is what I'm currently seeing in the market. I hope this helps, and I hope that your 2023 is absolutely amazing. I hope all of you that are doing things the right way and not compromising yourself and your beliefs and your ethics, just, just, just kill it this year. I hope you do better than you've ever done. And yeah, I'm sending my love to everybody. See you next year.